<laughs> Oil paint is the master of all dragons. <laughs> if that if that if that's even a thing. Well, this tutorial is me justifying that without oil paint, you can still have an awesome, amazing job on Photoshop, CS, whatever it is done. I mean, like a lot of people ask me. In fact, I think I get more than I get asked what my name is. A lot of people ask me how to work with Photoshop without oil paint. Their I mean, oil paint filter is not working, so so, and so is happening on their oil paint. This is me coming like the Messiah to, to liberate you all. So stand back while I strike my rod. Wait, if it's your first time of coming to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, don't forget to leave a comment. Since you all don't watch my vlogs, I'm going to be acting my vlog. I think I, I think the next time I'm doing this video, you should really, really see my facial expressions. I'm very dramatic. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. Okay, so uh, I don't know. I don't know the name of this Weavon. It's like a Weavon. I don't know if it was air, but this is Diane from Big Brother from 20, 2019 or thereabout. Yeah, this is Diane. You can check her out on Twitter, on Instagram. The next, the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate. I'm going to show you how to get this done without oil paint and how when you are going to copy the result without oil paint and the result with oil paint and it's going to be beautiful. Like. It's going to be finer than your, your celebrity crush. Like crazy. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to duplicate it with Ctrl J. For newbies, this is the background. I'm going to duplicate it with Ctrl J. Now this is the layer one. Now this I'm going to make it two. Okay. I'm just going to make it two. I'm going to name this place um oil painted. No no no. Without oil paint. Yes, without oil paint. Then I'll name here oil paint. Why am I spelling wrongly today? Oil. Why am I spelling oil as double O? Jeez. O oil. That's that's crazy. So the next thing I want to do is without this oil paint, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to turn this one or this oil paint filter off. Then I'll go to this place. I'll um, go to filter. I'll go to adjustment. I want to reduce the shadows and highlight a little bit. So I'm just, I don't want it to be too much. I'm just going to reduce it a little bit. Then highlight a little bit still. I think this is okay. Then I press okay. Now I don't want, I want you to have quite a lot of details. So it's going to pick that. Okay, this is this and this is this. You're just going to work and play around the level. So I'm just going to go to image, go to adjustment, and then go to levels or control L. Now for the levels, I'm going to make this like this you know something like this I'm, i i want to make it darker the dark side should get darker and then the other side she just get just walk around play around the image you know it doesn't have to be exactly like this but then play around so i'll show you how it was before before and now now this has a lot of a little depth to it I, sometimes people ask me why does my picture remain like in the regular picture it's because you don't have it didn't add any depth to it like it's i feel like you should always add the depth to it so hence the levels this and now see it has popped up automatic this is the point where i'm supposed to automatically clay but i'll be just going to automatically as a as a proper nigerian i am so i'm going to come to this place i'll duplicate it now i want to high pass to make it a lot sharper now i want to show you some a dif difference between a few things now i'm going to name name this sharp sharp without oil paint without okay sharp with uh okay let's say sharp with oil paint i want to make one sharp and one on sharp so you get to see the difference so this is sharp with and yeah i'm going to duplicate this and name me sharp without it's not like i'm doing anything anything technical i know you're looking at this video and you're like oh i'm strong is about to do some genius moves no i'm just trying to create many layers and show you what this is and what this isn't so this sharp without so i'm going to turn this off and then for the sharp width i'm not going to make it sharp i'm just going to go to the vivid light then i'll go over to the filter i'll go back to the other i'll go back to the high pass to make it sharp then probably bump it up a little bit let's say uh 2.8 is okay you know i said i really don't like having laid down figures i like working and then you guys see what i'm doing and then that way you're going to feel like oh okay so i can try it out you know we all try and we all learn so this is how it's going to be this is without when it's on sharp and this is sharp 
on sharp sounds like on fresh like never to be caught on fresh <laughs> Another thing you can still do to sharpen it a little bit is go to sharpen and go to unsharp. Did I just say unsharp now? This feels good. So I can just probably increase the amount a little bit and just touch it a little bit. And this is what came out first time in CS6. This was the first time it appeared. Then it disappeared in 27. I don't know why. I don't know why. In other versions of CC, but then it's back again. So in case your oil paint is not working, what you need to do is to go to stylize and in other photoshops in recent photoshops 2020 and the others the oil paint is actually appears in this so i'm going to go to diffuse and for the diffuse there is normal darking lighting and anisotropic oh uh, this sounds like one agricultural term <laughs> anisotropic so i'm just going to press ok now this is what we have now the next thing i want to do is go to filter go to image no image rotation and let's make it 90 i'm making 90 is because i want photoshop to work on these edges i want it to uh, apply diffuse on this diffuse on all the edges so i'm just gonna go to filter again i'll go to filter and then just press diffuse again when it's on this then i'll come over to this place rotate it again until it gets back to the former position go to this place and apply diffuse again now the only thing is that there is no uh, limit there's no range like from 1 to 100 about the diffuse you can add but i promise you this 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 is so i'm going to go to rotation and then go to filter and diffuse once more and then go to come over to this place again rotation and this is what we have now if you use oil paint frequently or you see oil paint jobs you notice that this is magical this feels like we did the main deal like it's beautiful i i i can assure you now this is what you use without oil paint now this is what is with just diffuse i'm just going to name this sharp with diffuse okay so i'm just going to name it sharp with diffuse yes fuse if you use oil paint frequently or you see oil paint jobs you notice that this is magical this feels like we did the main deal like it's beautiful i i i can assure you now this is what you use without oil paint now this is what is with just diffuse i'm just going to name this sharp with diffuse okay so i'm just going to name it sharp with diffuse yes fuse Now I want to show you the differences between all of them. Now this is oil paint. This is diffuse when it's on sharp. This is diffuse when it's sharp, and this is without oil paint. So this is what I want to do. This is with the oil paint. Now I'll compare all of them. I'm going to take you out of this without with oil paint. Then without oil paint, when it's not sharp. Without oil paint, that's when diffuse when it's sharp. This is without oil paint at all. This is when this is how the picture is when we just added a little depth to it yeah and so this is we added a little depth now i'll show you the steps add a little depth we made it sharper and diffused the sharp part this is how it was without making it sharper just diffusing it as a normal picture and this is the oil paint now i'm going to go closer so you see the differences oil paint you see this feels a lot blurry this is oil paint sharp and slick now this is without oil paint i'm going to compare the oil paint and the diffuse when it's sharp so this is oil paint oil paint looks a lot more professional but this looks beautiful as well so you might want to make it sharper and then or if you have oil paint filter that is a perfect alternative like that's like the main thing but then from outside you will not notice so 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 much of i think a lot of people will prefer this that is dif diffused and sharp than the oil paint because this that is diffused and sharp looks like art already so you might want to turn up the levels and you might want to add oil paint chicken very very simple so let me know what you try 
i'm going to drop this picture in the video description below so you might want to check that out and i think subsequently i'll be making videos about i think i'll be showing my face like so that i don't know i don't know so you see how dramatic i can get when i'm talking about ointments all these things like i'm a whole lot, i'm a whole of vibes and more and more i'm telling you so tell me what you think about this tutorial tell me what you think about this oil paint feature and and i think not i think we'll be dropping videos every saturday on this please make sure to watch my vlogs i am strong vlog or whatever please make sure to watch the vlog it will mean the world to me if you did this i'm just not signing out i'm always i'm always making mistakes with that this this i'm sure so it sounds very fast this is i'm let me sound let me sound like a professional this is Amshungusas. <laughs> Please enjoy the video.